Hey, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm going to show you how to make Cafe Rio sweet pork. And I'm going to be showing you a yummy, creamy cilantro lime dressing. Okay, you're going to need about a two pound thing of pork. This is a pork butt, <laughs> um, but this is a big guy. This guy is seven pounds. With this recipe, I'm going to make, be making two different meals. So I'm going to be making the Cafe Rio sweet pork salad and then burritos. So that's going to be great. So I can get two meals out of this big guy. So what you're going to do the night before is you're going to prep your pork. Um, what I'm going to do is just trim off some of the fat and I'm going to quarter this because the last time I made this and just put this in my crock pot, it took longer to cook um, and so it's just easier to shred when I can quarter this. So what you're going to need is your pork. You're going to need three-fourths cup of Coca-Cola and you're going to need a fourth cup of brown sugar. So let's get the pork ready and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, what I have done is in a gallon Ziploc bag, I put three-fourths cup of the Coca-Cola in with the fourth cup of um, brown sugar and it's all dissolved in there. So now what I'm going to do is add my portions of pork in. Okay, I'm going to seal this up Give it a little shake. So now I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator and we're going to let this marinate overnight and then come with me in the morning and we'll throw it in the crock pot. Okay, this has been marinating overnight in the Coca-Cola and brown sugar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain all the liquid and put the pork into the crock pot. So we're not going to use any of the liquid that's in here now. Okay, now that I have my pork in the crock pot, we're ready to put the rest of the ingredients in. What you're going to need is a cup of that Coke and one-fourth cup water. Pour that down. Now remember, you, you've already discarded the liquid from the night before. So we've got fresh stuff going in here. Okay, and then I have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder and chili powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle this, sprinkle this on top of the pork. There we go. Okay. Now you can cook this on low for six hours or you can cook it on high for three to four until it's shreddable basically. Um, today I'm going to cook it on high for four hours. So, okay. Okay, this has been cooking for four hours on high. So what I'm going to do is test to see if it's shreddable. Yeah, it seems seems to be shreddable. So what I'm going to do is take it out, shred the meat, and then I'll show you what I do next. So all my pork is shredded. We discarded all the liquid that was in there. We don't need it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the sauce for this to cook in. Okay, in a blender we're going to add 3 fourths cup brown sugar. We're going to add a cup of the Coke. We're going to add a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. And then we're going to add a 4 ounce can of diced chilies, green chilies. I have made this before and in the recipe I used a fourth a teaspoon of uh, chili powder, but honestly, I like this with a little more kick. So we are doing a teaspoon of the chili powder. Okay, I'm going to blend this up. Mmm, perfect. Now we're going to pour this over our pork. So now we're going to put a lid on it and we're going to cook it on low for two hours. Okay, while that is doing its thing, we are going to make the creamy like cilantro lime dressing that Cafe Rio has. It's so good. Or you can call it creamy tomatillo ranch, either way. Um, but it is the dressing that Cafe Rio uses. Okay, so the recipe for this is down below. What you're going to need is about a cup of buttermilk. 
if you don't have store-bought buttermilk, just make your own cup of milk to, I believe it's a tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice. Okay, then you're going to need a buttermilk ranch dry season packet. Put that down in there. And you're going to need a cup of mayonnaise. You're going to need one third cup water. All right, here is my plate of greens. You're going to need about a half a cup of just roughly chopped cilantro. You're going to need two tomatillos, and those are, they look like green tomatoes. And you're going to need one jalapeno diced and seeded, and about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of fresh lime juice. So let's get all of these into the blender. here and squeeze some juice in. Now we're just going to fire this up for about, eh, we're going to pulse this for about two to three minutes until it's smooth. Um, you can add extra water to it, one tablespoon at a time to reach, you know, your desired consistency. So let's get this going. Okay, here we are. It's more liquidy for me right now. I should have um, not put the one-third cup water in yet. I should have used it sparingly, even though the recipe doesn't say that. But I'm noticing that it is really um, runny for me. So what I'm going to do is... Um, no idea. <laughs> I don't know how I should thicken this, but I am going to just put this in the refrigerator and chill it and maybe it'll set up a little. And if not, it'll just be yummy dressing. And I love it. It tastes so good. So, all right, I'm going to chill this and then we'll check on our pork. Now I'm just making pretty much like a salad bowl. I warmed up a tortilla. I warmed up some pinto beans and put them at the bottom. Or you can make the Cafe Rio cilantro lime rice. And then I have some of the sweet pork on top of that. I'm going to add some chopped romaine lettuce on top of that. And this is when you can have fun. You can make it exactly like Cafe Rio or make your own. Um, but I am, you could put pinko de gallo on there, guacamole. I'm going to add some chopped green onions on here. Okay, and now I'm going to sprinkle some cilantro. I cannot imagine eating this without cilantro. No way, Jose. <laughs> okay, I chilled up some of that cilantro lime dressing, and now I'm just going to drizzle this on top. But add guacamole. You could add sour cream, rice, pinko de gallo, whatever you'd like. Oh, <laughs> One of my favorite meals. Look at all that. Oh, okay, I'm going to try a bite. I'm going to get a little bit of everything in there. Some pinto beans, some sweet pork. Some of the... Oh, look at that. Okay, let's give it a shot. That is amazing. That is amazing. Mmm. And then with all the meat that you have, you can have a salad, you can make burritos. So the meat is wonderful. So you can use it up any way you want. Burritos, chimichangas, put it in a quesadilla, have it in a salad. But this pork is amazing. And with this cilantro lime dressing, it's irresistible. That's what it is. All right, we're going to eat our salad. Thanks for joining me today. Make this uh, pork. You're going to absolutely love it. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's so good.